Welcome back everyone. Zach is off tonight. Live bait has probably been catching fish since the first hook was invented, but keeping live bait alive for a long time between your fishing trips can be tricky. In this week's pros pointer, Johnny Candle tells us that you'll be rewarded down the road if you can keep your leeches alive. I just got myself a very large batch of leeches to keep into the fall. And I know this may seem excessive, but they get really hard to get this time of year. And I want to have them to help me catch fish later in the season. It's not that hard to keep leeches long term. Just a few things to think about. The first thing is to keep them cold. I have the temperature set in my bait fridge at 38 degrees. That's just enough to put those leeches in a state of let's call it pseudo hibernation. The next thing you want to remember is to get the dead ones out of your bucket. Uh, it's much like any other live bait. If you keep something dead in there, it seems to accelerate the process of the rest of your bait dying. And the last thing to remember is keep that water fresh. I prefer to use well water when I can get it. Lake water, possibly if you have to, you want to remember to keep that water at the same temperature that you're taking them out of before you put it into a new container. And if worse comes to worse and you have to use tap water, please leave it set out 24 hours so all the gases and the poisonous materials can escape and it doesn't kill your bait. So keep all these tips in mind. Trust me, it's worth the effort. If you're the person that has leeches in September and October, it makes fishing kind of like giving candy to a baby. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pros Pointer. Now next week, Johnny shows us the latest in marine fishing electronics. The Minot Hot Tots are also on the road tonight against Wilmer looking for a little revenge. We'll have you the updated score tonight on First News at 10. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.